Over the past 6 years I've changed my life the most, and I did that mostly with the help of habits. And through trial and error, I came up with a simple set of actions that made this process much easier and more fun. This system has helped me build a lot of good habits, the most influential being exercising regularly, which led me to feeling much better and building a decent physique, reading almost every day which helped me read over 70 books, and recently I've been using the exact same system to break my bad habit of staying up late. I believe in this process it's important to find what works for you, so in this video I will share the things that work for me that you might find useful and maybe even add some of them to your system. Start small. I've been struggling to wake up early for a long time because since I was in high school I developed a bad habit of staying up late. So when I had to wake up early for school or for work I wouldn't get enough sleep and on weekends and days off I would sleep until 12, 1 pm. I tried many times to break this bad habit but I did it wrong because every time I would just jump into the deep end and say that from tomorrow I'll start going to bed early and wake up at 6. And the funny thing is that I would just do it for a couple of days and then it would get too hard, I'd lose my motivation and eventually I would just get back to my old routine. So recently I decided to try again, but this time I've been doing it differently, no jumping into the deep end. I started small and made the process easier. So now I go to bed and wake up just 15 minutes earlier than the day before. And so far it's going well, and I'll keep doing this until I hit my goal and finally build this habit of waking up early. It's really easy to feel super excited about changing something in your life, about building some new habits. And usually we feel a little too motivated and decide to change everything at once, build many habits at the same time and set unrealistic deadlines. Like you've never been to the gym before but you're thinking you're gonna get fit in one month. So you start big. Going to the gym three days a week? Nah, that's for losers. So you start working out every day for two hours. And yeah, you might keep doing this for a week, even two, but quickly it starts to feel very hard and you end up quitting. That's because you want fast results and you try to take on too much at once. And I know it's more exciting to think that you can build six habits in one month than six habits in half a year, but as you know, progress takes time. Forming new routines, getting rid of bad habits require a lot of effort and patience. So take it easy, one small step at a time. I remember back in 2020, a friend of mine and I decided to run in the morning every Saturday. We just wanted to try. So we started small. Only once a week we would run 4 kilometers. And eventually we ended up running every Saturday for over a year, not even skipping once. And uh, we got pretty fast from 4 kilometers to 12. And if I'm not wrong, in total we ran over 400 kilometers, which is not bad at all. So that's the power of starting small. Starting small is also about making the process much easier. If you want to read more books and you start by reading 10 pages every day, it doesn't seem that hard, it will only take 15 minutes and you're confident you can do it. But if you start reading 50, 100 pages a day, that will be difficult and time consuming. You'll have doubts you can keep doing this for a long time. So if you really want to build this habit and keep doing this for the long run, then you have to make the process much easier and simpler. And of course over time when you get used to it, you can take it up a notch and read more pages a day. Many times in the past I tried to build several habits at once or start in a big way and I failed almost every time. So it convinced me that starting small and slow is more effective and there is much more probability that you will stick to your habits for the long run. Hey, if you've enjoyed watching this video so far, why don't you leave a like and subscribe? I know it's not hard for you to click two times and also it helps my channel a lot. So how about burning one calorie and clicking that like and subscribe button? Thanks. Start with a domino habit. You know when you make a chain of dominoes, and if you tap one, that creates a chain reaction, knocking the rest of the dominoes over. So this domino effect works similarly for habits. One small change can trigger a series of other changes that can make a significant impact over time in your life. For example, if you start going to the gym consistently, then that will probably influence you to also eat healthier and drink less alcohol. So over time, you will get in a better shape and that will help you become healthier, more attractive and confident. Or in my case, my domino habit now is going to bed early. If I hit the sack early, then that will cause me to wake up earlier with 8 hours of quality sleep, feeling more productive, motivated, and I will have more time and energy to make better YouTube videos that could later lead to this becoming my full-time job. You see, a small change, a small habit could impact your life so much and bring big results you never imagined you'd get. So pick your domino habit that you believe will cause other positive changes and will lead to improving many areas of your life and start with it. In my videos, I've been talking a lot about reading books and this is one of those habits that has changed my life. So I just want to take a minute to talk about our today's sponsor, Shortform. 
Short Form is an app where you can read super detailed summaries of over a thousand non-fiction books. I just recently found out about it and this is that type of service I wish I'd discovered sooner. Let's say your favorite book is The Obstacles of the Way by Ryan Holiday and you want to remind yourself of some ideas from it but you don't really have time or you don't really want to reread the full book. So you can go in short form and just read the summary where you also have interactive exercises to help you better understand and remember the key points. Or let's say your friend recommended you a book but you're not sure you're gonna like it and you don't want to waste your time. So there is short form where you can read the one page detailed summary that will help you decide if it's worth going for the full book. So if you're into reading and you want to get access to a ton of book summaries, I highly recommend this app. There's a link in the description below that will give you a 5 day free trial and 20% off an annual subscription. Thanks Shortform for this partnership and now let's get back to our habit building system. Follow the 2 day rule. Whenever I'm building a new habit or I have a problem being disciplined, I use the 2 day rule. I first came across this rule when I was watching Matt Diavel's video about it and since then I've been using it often. So the 2 day rule is very simple. As Matt says, it's a promise to yourself that you will not take off 2 days in a row from your habit. This is life and unexpected things happen. You can feel sick, lazy, uh, have a busy day and no time for your habits. So you will skip days. Everyone does. Unless you're David Goggins or someone. 18! They don't know me son! Get it! 19! They don't know me son! But that's okay. I consider myself a pretty disciplined person. But still, sometimes I can skip workouts, meals. I can still go to bed late from time to time. So the 2 day rule is exactly for that. What I like most about this rule is that it allows you to be imperfect and take days off when you need to. But at the same time it doesn't let you skip weeks and months. It prevents you from getting stuck into a procrastination rut and completely forgetting about your habits. There are days when I have to work out but I don't feel like it. And I can take a day off because I skipped the day before. So what I usually do in this case is just show up and do at least the bare minimum. Spend only 20 minutes doing the worst workout ever, but it's important for me to stay disciplined and not skip two days in a row. Because I learned that's actually much easier to get back to your habits after a day off, but it's hell of a lot harder to get back on track when you skipped several days in a row. So I know people don't really like rules, but this is a good one. And if you're taking it seriously and you're committed to it, it will help you stay disciplined with whatever you're trying to do. Now let's just all thank Matt Diavella for coming up with this amazing rule and let's get to the next thing. Enjoy the process. I understand that everyone wants to reach the destination, to finally change. But if you will hate every single day, every single part of this process, nothing good will come out of it. For the past 5 years I've been pretty disciplined with my workouts. Like I said, I rarely skip days. And that's because I love to exercise. It brings me pleasure. When you like what you do, when you enjoy the process, it's much easier to build habits and change yourself. So if you want to get in shape but you hate going to the gym, then find a way to make it more enjoyable. Maybe go lift weights only 2 days a week and the rest of the days play some sports or do yoga or something. If you don't like a specific exercise, find a different one that you might like. If you don't like reading, listen to audiobooks. It is about finding alternatives and trying to make the process more enjoyable. And yeah, to change you'll have to do many hard things you don't like. But that doesn't mean you have to hate the whole process. So find the things that work for you. Try to find positivity in what you're doing. Always remind yourself of the benefits, the results you will get if you break or build a certain habit. Look, I don't enjoy waking up early. But once I get past that unpleasant moment and get out of bed, I can enjoy the morning atmosphere. It's much better than waking up in the afternoon. I got more time for things like meditation. I feel energetic. So yeah, I don't like the waking up part, but I enjoyed the rest. And I'm telling myself every morning when the alarm goes off that it's worth doing this. Also give yourself more time and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Building habits and making a change in your life have to be an exciting process, not an unpleasant experience. Know your why. This one is more of a mindset thing, but it is important. Just sit down and think, or better write down, why you want to build or get rid of that habit. What is your goal and what you want to get out of this. It is fundamental to answer these questions and clearly understand the reason why you have to go through all this process to begin with. I don't care how corny this sounds, but when there's a strong why, then everything you do makes sense. Every mile you run, every rep, every minute of work makes sense because there's a system of beliefs and values behind your actions. And this helps you keep going when you lack motivation, when it gets uncomfortable. Because in your head there's always going to be I know why I'm doing this. So I will get to the finish line. If you don't find meaning in what you do, then you'll quit. It's as simple as that. I believe that without a clear reason, it's very difficult to keep the good habits and hard work going on. <laughs> oh, you're still here? 
Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you consider what you just watched interesting and helpful, then you're definitely going to like this video right here. So go check it out.